Hey everybody, you know me, it's Paul with Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning. Hope everyone's doing well. I got a email from somebody that I guess saw one of my videos and asked if I would slow down and show a little bit more of how my van's arranged and it's nothing special but I figured I'd make a video today. I did a job and it's kind of a hoarder type home and I was unable to film so I thought I'd put this one up. Here's the sliding door just on the inside driver's side. I have my pads, my commercial vacuum, some spotter bottles and some brushes hanging there and then a tool kit and underneath that is my orbital handheld polisher for furniture or stairs. And I like to use the 8 inch either an Iron Man or a Zinger pad on the handheld orbital. And you can look back in my videos and see it's a Harbor Freight uh, 1000 RPM to 3500 RPM unit. I think it was like maybe 50 bucks. One of my clients actually got it for me as a gift. And I've got all of my smaller pads over here for the Auric Orbiter. There's a different variety. I've got Glad pads, Zingers, Iron Man. Here's some more. I've been using the Zinger quite often. And I'm going to start using these fiber pads. These ones under here, these are like 17 inch Iron Mans that have never been used. And then all my, mi excuse me, microfiber and these uh, polar. Uh, pads are really nice too. They're thick. I do hang a lot of stuff from the top. I have my these little tie strap things you can get at Home Depot or Menards. They hang from the top and hold my uh, brooms and groomer. And then over here is the work sprayer. I'm going to be modifying this hose, shortening it, changing a few things to make it easier, but um, the works, I used it again today and just absolutely phenomenal. I put the bigger battery that I got on there. You can see I still have that spray head, so it does put out a little too much. But with the float that came with it, what I did, I wrapped some medical tape around above. You know, I figured out the length I needed so that the hose would sit at the bottom. And then I secured the ball uh, with medical tape on the lower portion and the top, or top portion so that it fits right inside the two gallon jug. Velcroed on my hose. You definitely need to drill a hole so that the um, bottle can breathe. You saw the first time I used it, it collapsed. It just squeezed the, the bottle shut. So I do have a little room left in there for some stuff. And then on this side, I, I used to carry my 175 and both the Oryx and the Mighty, but I made room. And you saw I cleaned these up the other day, but I've got my uh, sprayer. That's the two gallon Scott lithium battery operated sprayer. Then I got my pump up sprayer in case that one runs out of juice. I always carry a little uh, glass cleaner just to wipe down my machines and stuff. I kind of hook that back on this little tub. And this is my wagon, $39 at Walmart. I need that to go up and down elevators with the Auric when I do my commercial work. And you can see I carry my tr magic triangle brush. You can get links for that in my other videos. And I think these are dollar store items like a just a cheap broom and a microfiber um, pad type thing and my regular grande groomer. And then of course the mighty with the blue handle I put on the top. I do carry a 100 foot extension cord. That's a 12 gauge. So if I need to, I can get in and out of anywhere, the Auric Orbiter. And then this um, particular ramp, 
it's really cheap. I can't. I think it was like twenty five dollars, if I remember correctly, from Petco. It's a Smart Ramp Junior. My van's low enough where this works fine. It says warning for pet use only, but it works perfect to pull my machines in and out. You'll see me use that from time to time. It has those little tabs that hold it in place. And on my particular van, the NV200 cargo van, which is a Nissan, I just set it right there on the bumper and I'll back up so you could take a look at it. There you go, and then I just reach in. All the, you know, the big machine, the Mighty has a handle, so I just grab the handle, tip it back, roll it straight down. And then to bring it up, I just grab the handle on the front and tip it back and pull it back up into place. Very easy. I got the shelving, those little shelves back there on the left where I have my pads, those came from Home Depot stackable shelves they, they're really nice and then i use those little tie strap uh, bands and tie them together so they don't move and that's the nissan nv 200 i love this little van and then i'll show you on this slide outdoor i've got a few things here get myself situated so I have the simple end cap I have a shop vac a small one that I use for picking up small debris or if I'm using the claw and I have the green dragon that one is I believe uh, dragon fire my odor death which is the stabilized CLO2 some shoe booties there's the citric acid, which is this stuff here. I got it on Amazon, but it's called Milliard. And I'll tell you what, if you have to go and get, say, uh, and I'm not recommending it, but if you have to clean a carpet with Purple Power, it's that bad. You could actually VLM it with the Purple Power pre-spray. And that'll leave a serious residue if you're not careful, but you can take that citric acid and do a rinse afterwards and it will neutralize the ph it's crazy good no smell you know normally vinegar is what i used to use in it oh oh here's another tip another carpet guy in my area told me about he watches my videos but um where i said you can use ice to get divots out he actually puts this in a spray bottle and sprays it on those uh, indentions in the carpet the divots it's just a uh safe uh, fabric softener and i guess at the end of the job he goes back and he just rakes it out and he claims that the fabric softener loosens up those uh, divots and removes them you know so you don't have to wait for ice so i bought some i'm gonna try it out of course i, I carry clear ammonia some people are against that but it works for a lot of general spotting and I got some sodium percarbonate, which is the powdered form of uh, hydrogen peroxide, like a vo uh, volume 20. More clear ammonia, but I added a little bit of, uh, I believe, lemon uh, simple grain to it, just to, that's a different spotter I use for different things. I thought I had something else back here, but I guess not. Got an extra power cord. That little green jug is just green fabuloso in case I need to disguise the ammonia. I'll put a little bit into the ammonia. Here's my 1900 watt iron, steam iron. You might have seen me clean that uh, slime out of furniture a few videos ago. It works incredible. I have some additional brushes for the auric down there for tile and whatnot, but this um, I think I got this on Amazon for about $49. And it's similar to, I used to use a heavy duty claw. But for the application I'm using, this is called a spot vac. And I can actually use either my high powered shop vac or that little shop vac works just as fine. It's got the pancake holes on the bottom. I'll take the shop vac, hook it, the nozzle to it. 
uh, soak down a heavy urine area with the stabilized CLO2 and then absorb it up until I don't see any more yellow piss coming up into the vac. And of course, more extension cords. And I believe my hose down there is just, I lost my rinseroo, so that little black hose is so that I can um, take it in and go from a sink, fill up a bucket. Mm. And then this little kit is, it's got a piece of cardboard so that I can lay my uh, hot glue gun on when it's hot. And I have hot glue gun sticks. And what you do with this is you can do some minor repairs. Like if you get runs in um, Berber carpet, you know, they always get either a dog scratches it or there's a run. Instead of cutting the run off, you take and you lay hot glue into the area that's exposed and you use that carpet owl and you press it, loop it back into place and you can disguise those tears. And here's the glue sticks I use. I've done multiple, you might look back and see some jobs where I've fixed um, those long strands. Um, you know, some people cut them off, that's a mistake. Once you cut it off, now you've either got to cut and plug the entire area to fix that, um, which is gonna cost you more money. It's just easier, you, again, you can look back on the videos. And of course, I'm not repacking this correctly because I'm using one hand. I need to slide that back down in place, which I will do. But I hope uh, I didn't go too much into my products and my equipment on the van versus showing you the setup of the van. But I wanted to show you as I go along the shelves that are on the passenger side that we pulled this out of came also from Home Depot. They're a little more expensive, but uh, three shelves stacked high. Could probably go four, but it serves my purpose. And then I use some bungee cords and go from the top shelf to the bottom shelf and make sure they're, I mean, they fit together, but make sure they stay in place. So there you go. Very simple. And the, the job, there's the pads from the job I did. And her house, she kind of didn't want me to show it, but anyway, this is the inside. I need to dump out that floor pad. I throw a Walmart bag over the top with some toilet paper and some essential stuff I need if I'm at a job. Little dollar store tray to keep my water, hand sanitizer, my lunch box. I always carry an umbrella here in Washington because it rains. This is the beautiful thing of the van, though, is that is for your clipboard. Then I got my GPS. Of course, my customer gave me a bunch or three, I guess, of the Coke Zeros. She gave me one cold one, and then she handed me the whole thing. <laughs> And this is an Amazon product. These are incredible. If you've ever hit the sun and you've got that buildup of crap inside your van window and you can't see out, I keep, I just stick it right here. I've got an extra um, bandana and some sunglasses and then it, that little pocket holds that as well. Real simple, no frills. There's the dirt you can see in the bucket. I cleaned uh, just two rooms in a basement that was very crowded, so I used the Auric. I zinger padded it, scrubbed it, and then used a Glad pad. So there you go. I'm going to shut down for today. Appreciate you guys watching another episode, and I will see you in the next one.